I'm Keith Peters with Apollo Alto Weekly. With me is Robert Wickers, a senior quarterback on the Menlo School football team. Last week, uh, Robert completed uh, 11 of 19 passes for 241 yards, five touchdowns, and a 34-0 victory over San Mateo in the first half. He had all five touchdowns. He threw uh, TD passes of one yard and 44 yards to Tim Benton. Uh, four yards and 50 yards to Jordan Williams and eight yards to Philip Anderson. And for that uh, performance, Robert is the Apollo Two Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. Um, early in the game, you guys knew that you're going to be able to throw and throw deep. Uh, your coach said pretty much first play of the game, you had a 40-yard reception, pass reception to uh, Tim Benton, and at that point, uh, you pretty much knew what was going to happen. Right. Uh, yeah, we were running plays that... Um we knew we'd be able to exploit the defense they were running, and it was what we'd prepared all week in practice. So when we came out and saw what they were running, uh, we were really, really excited about our chances to uh, exploit their defense. And the first play was indicative of the preparation we uh, had gone through all week. The uh, last season, you pretty much uh, played backup quarterback to uh, Danny DeCroge, who threw for 4,100 yards. I had a super season. Uh, what did you learn from him? And how did you prepare uh, for your senior season? Um, I think what I learned most from Danny was definitely some leadership skills. Being a quarterback, he's obviously very talented. And um, it was nice to be behind him. He was a great guy to be behind. Um, but over the summer, uh, we really stressed getting timing down with the receivers. Uh, stepping into the role was a lot easier with guys like Tim Benton, Jordan Williams, Phil Anderson. Um, balancing out the receiving core along with our really solid O-line. So I knew I was going to be really confident coming in, into this year because I had a lot of help around me. Um, and it's really shown, I think, in the last five games or so. What's sort of been the key for you? Has your offensive line uh, really made it that much easier for you to be comfortable in the pocket? Yeah, definitely. I think as the weeks have progressed, I've felt significant, significantly more comfortable uh, in the pocket. They've uh, They've been working just as hard as anybody out here, even harder most likely, and uh, it's really paid off, and I can certainly uh, appreciate that as I'm standing here nice and healthy, so hopefully that continues. Yeah. Uh, Menlo is off to a great start this season. Uh, they're headed for the postseason, and, and obviously uh, you guys are in the A-League, even though you're in the PAL Ocean Division. Uh, playoff berth is, is really kind of obvious at this point. You just need to win a few more games, but uh, I know you just want to play one game at a time, but... Uh, the, the postseason and getting back, uh, you were unable. You got to the uh, the CCS championship game last year and lost. So getting back to the CCS uh, playoffs again has got to be a goal. Yeah, it definitely is. But right now, that's hard to kind of focus on when we're really focusing on Jefferson right now this Friday. Um, but if I had to take a look ahead, I, I really like our chances going deep as long as we can stay healthy. Um, and but right now, we're just uh, focusing on the game plan for this Friday, um, playing a really athletic big team, and so. That's going to provide a great challenge for us that may be a telltale sign of how we'll do in the playoffs this year. Good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thanks a lot.